Hi everyone, so I have a haul for you today and I know it's been ages since I last made my last video. Um, what is it, two weeks, coming on to three weeks and I know in YouTube land that's like a really, really long time and I do have to apologise because I did say I was going to make them constant but obviously things just had to get in the way, uh, namely uni. I had lots of deadlines and lots of um, you know things to study for, things to hand in and with my course it's kind of challenging and if you don't prioritise you're going to find yourself you know behind. Um, so yeah, got lots of that out of the way. My last hand in was last Friday and I partied it over the weekend because I just felt so free and amazing. But this is not for long because I do have exams later on. But then I'm gonna chill for now and then revise again once that time comes comes round. Um, and also I wanna address uh, my hair. Um, it's been a topic of conversation in the last few videos and lots of people asking me what hair it is, um, it looks nice, is that your hair, blah, blah, blah. Okay, this is the exact same hair that I reviewed time ago, the Adora hair, the Peruvian hair. Do you remember that one? Yeah, that's the one. The only difference is I've actually installed this using clips. Um, so I've just sewn the, the clips onto the tracks and measured it for my head. And uh, also, I, you know, started up with a flat iron. I just realise um, I'm calling it flat iron. I think I've been watching too many US gurus. <laughs> um, straightener is what I mean. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's what I've been using just to, you know, straighten it and style it. Um, lots of tutorials on YouTube. If you want to look that up, that's amazing. If you want me to do one, let me know down below and I will. Um, so yeah, onto the haul. I have everything like sprawled across the bed. Um, it's not in shop order, so it's literally why I pick up and show you guys. Um, I'll start off with the shoes because you know I love shoes. Um, I do have a few uh, makeup bits, but then I'll leave that to the end. Um, so the first is these pair of lovely wedges and they're really tropical looking. Something I'd wear, you know, when I'm on holiday, but it doesn't stop me from wearing it here in the UK. Well, except it's raining, but um, on nice days, I reckon I could wear this with a really lovely maxi skirt or mini, like skirt, mini skirt? No, midi skirt, that's <laughs> what I meant to say. Um, or like a dress or anything really. I really like this. I actually had this in mind um, when I was picking a pair of shorts I'm gonna show you, and I thought they looked so good together. And um, yeah, they're from H&M, and they were 24.99, so 25 pounds. That's really decent for a pair of shoes, and they look absolutely amazing on. I did show this on my blog already, so some of you might already know this. Um, onto another pair, also from H&M, are these amazing, ah, amazing, amazing neon heels, and they are gorgeous. Also 24.99, um, I don't own any like neon pair of shoes. I do have like bright colored shoes, but I did want a neon one for ages and I thought it'd be perfect with my really light wash denim and like a white shirt or like a white dress or, you know, if I wanted to do like color blocking or whatever, I thought it'd be perfect. And the heel is just stunning. And that's 24.99, um, really, really bright. Well, it's really dull in England at the moment and um, I find that to make me feel bright about my day, I just put bright clothes on and when I'm shopping I buy bright stuff. Uh, yeah, uh, the next pair are from Zara. And how gorgeous are these? These are so sophisticated looking and I just love them. I've worn them already. Um, and I wore them with just a plain black outfit. Um, it can be styled a number of ways because I, I love the way it's color blocked. and I, I, It's just amazing. And it's 29.99, which is really decent for a pair of shoes from Zara because Zara's quite pricey um, in certain, like, certain parts of the store. But then I found these and they are so amazing. They had them in a plain black and they also had them in a pink, like a, this bit was pink and then this bit was dark pink and they also had it in like a green and blue. So it's, you know, lots of different shoes and lots of different, for people with different tastes and stuff. I just really liked this one because it, I thought it was unique and I'm really excited to, um, wear these. I know that Naya from Style Secrets has So the next two are a pair of shorts and I'm so longing for good weather just so I can wear these because I've already planned lots of outfits around these shorts but the weather's just horrible. I just really need the rain to stop and a bit more sun. Can we have that please? Anyway, yeah, I got these and um, they're just a plain pair of white shorts from H&M from I think it's the, what's it, the Conscious Collection. It's a new collection that they have out, really pretty colours, really pretty patterns, pastel colours and you know floral bits and bobs, I thought it was a really really nice collection, um, but I like these and um, I'm not much of a shorts wearer, uh, but then when I do find a pair that suits my, my figure and it sits really nice, I, I get really excited and when I try these on in the store I have to have them. 
Um, I think they were $14.99 and I don't know, they're just perfect. I could wear them on holiday as well. And then this pair I got from um, J -j 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 Primark. Primark. It's such a, a nice pair of shorts and it's something I've probably come across in Topshop or like Zara and I was really surprised that it was, that it was from Primark and it was only £12 and they're like shiny and sparkly. I could wear this like with a plain black top on a night out or during the day with like a chiffon, like a nude chiffon top or like, you know, anything really. I can, you know, pair these with. So I've really like spent ages just like <laughs> pairing outfits and I'm just, like I said, waiting for the weather to get nicer. But that's from Primark. Now this is a really lovely pink blazer that I got from H&M. It's $24.99. I'm a very huge fan of blazers. I've got um, a considerable amount of blazers. And um, once I find a new one that I like, I have to get it. So um, I, ha I haven't got a pink one this colour for the summertime. So I really wanted it and so I went and bought it. I think it'd be perfect with the shorts and the wedges I mean that's going to be such a nice outfit um, with like a plain tank top or like t-shirt underneath it it's got two buttons pockets and it's got a really nice kind of cinched in waist on the back loving the pink now when I saw this in Topshop and I saw unique on the top I was expecting to you know see a really massive price tag and I did and it was like £160, but then it was on sale for £15. And I got a student discount on top of it, so I got this for £13.50. And I was so excited, because I tried it on and it looked so amazing. Um, it reminds me of one of the things that Kate Moss had some time ago. And she was wearing it with like a pair of like jeans and a tee and really nice pair of black heels. And I just thought it was perfect. And this is such a unique design, unique just as you know the brand um, and I just it's really really nice I tried it on and it looks amazing that's the back and I'll bring it closer so you can see it's got this really lovely baroque type pattern on it and like leaf is it baroque oh my bad no it's like a floral kind of pattern but it looks kind of baroque that was really cool and it was a bargain for 15 pounds or 13 50 as I got it for right down from 160 pounds and um, as you can imagine I had to have it. Now, this next piece I'm excited about. Um, I'd been toying with the idea of buying it for ages ever since I saw it on um, Fashion Filth or on YouTube so totally vlog um, Lexi and she wore it to Patricia's wedding and I remember seeing her outfit and thinking oh my god this is such a lovely outfit and then when she told me that everything she was wearing was from Zara I was like I'm going on a hunt to get everything you're wearing um, so I came across the um, the snake skin palazzo pants and I also came across the blazer that she had on but I tried on the blazer it didn't really suit me but then I tried this on and it's so amazing oh my goodness um, I've worn it before I tried photographing it some time ago but then I don't know I had some problems with my photos uh, but then hopefully I'm gonna get this worn and photograph and put on my blog or like do it an outfit of the day um, for you guys on YouTube and it's so so pretty snake skin very classy it has like a little short underneath so obviously you're covered but the rest of it's sheer and it sits really well it's really long but then uh, Zara do offer an alteration service which I took advantage of and um, I'm 5'3 so this lots of inches were left you know so I had um, I had them alter it for me so um, it's it's my my length and I think that's perfect so if you have that similar issues with like lengthening stuff Zara do do an alteration service which is pretty good for us short people. Um, lastly is a trench coat and I got this from H&M and they still have them and you know the weather is just a bit weird sometimes it gets cold sometimes it gets warm I just wanted a, a light trench coat that I could wear in the spring and I thought this was perfect I think it was £29.99 so £30 is good and it's got one of those like wrap, wrap type uh, belts and it looks really good I really like it um, so if you're looking for a trench coat and um, you don't know where to look, try H&M because H&M have some really, really nice ones. Zara do do them as well, but I think Zara ones are like £60, but these are pretty much the same thing, but like half the price. 
So that's that. That's it for the clothes. I have a few more accessories I'd like to show you and a few makeup bits. Um, but firstly is my new phone case, my iPhone case, and it's a neon um, case. I'm obsessed with neon at the moment, as you can see. Um, I really like it, so it's amazing. And it was two ninety nine, and then I got the orange one. Oh yes, oh yes. You know me. Once I like something in one color, I look for it in the other. Uh, and I buy it and I really like the, the, the orange one. Um, I'm gonna you know use this one, get tired of it. Once I get tired of it, I change it to this one. It's two ninety nine, really good. So if you're looking for a good um iPhone cover, then check HM. Also from HM are my two sets of bangles or a set of bangles and one bangle. Um this was from HM for six ninety nine, so it's mixed mixed um what do you call it mixed metals so you've got like the gold rose gold and um a really nice silver one and then i got this as well which is a really lovely bracelet bangle it's got like the design i really like i have a photograph of both of them on my blog so if you want to you can check those out and then i got these two belts from primark initially got the the white one first really liked it and then went back to the brown one and I think they're two pounds fifty each, and I think it's really nice. I reckon this would be perfect with the snakeskin um, trousers I showed you, and then this over like any simple black dress or anything. So two pounds fifty for those two, not bad. And then I got this really lovely clutch. Oh my goodness, how amazing is this? It's square and it's got this rose gold plated. Part and it comes with a strap, a shoulder strap. And I think this is just so classy, so perfect. On days where I don't really want to hold much, um, I just put my phone and a few makeup bits in here. And I just thought it was a really nice clutch. Um, I had another white clutch, but my mum stole it, so <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, this is one I have right now. And I'm, I'm going to try and keep this away from everyone because I don't want anyone to take it from me. It was twenty nine ninety nine. And it's just such a really nice clutch, as you can see. And then I got myself a new pair of sunglasses, and these are from. Oh, these are from H and M. They make everything look vintage. But yeah, so when the sun does come out, I have sunglasses to wear. These were two three ninety nine. Yeah, and then I got a case which was one ninety nine. A really nice kind of patent leather nude case for them. I think that's it for the. Uh, accessories and clothes and I do have some makeup stuff to show you uh, first of all some nail polishes I need to paint my nails I haven't had time to paint my nails because I've just been so busy with uni but then I'm going to treat myself later on this evening and paint it one of these colors the first one is strawberry fizz which is by Rimmel they were doing three for two so I got three of them and it's just a really kind of like bubblegum pink and then I got this which is in style coral lovely coral and then I got this Coralicious which is more of a darker coral ready coral um, I think I'm gonna paint my nails this today one either one of these two because I kind of like the whole coral thing and then I got myself um, three lipsticks also from Rimmel because they were doing um the three for two like I said and I already had um und was it it's undress no birthday suit and I went back and I got another one and then I ended up buying these other two. Birthday suit is a really lovely nude. Um, I think it reminds me of a cross between Shy Girl and Freckle Tone from MAC. And those two are like favourites of mine, uh, favourite lipsticks from MAC. And these are really good. I'm going to include a swatch somewhere here because I do have a swatch on my blog. I put, put like a little thing on there of all of them. Um, so we have birthday suit and then we have undressed which is similar but slightly more pink so it's a pinky nude um very nice i have, actually have this on today with hover lip liner and natural lip gloss from nyx and then asia which is an even deeper pink um i thought it was really really nice really good as well i think they're 4.99 each and then i got them for three for two so i paid in eight pounds no ten pounds about 9.98 for three of them so that's pretty decent and that's like much cheaper than the mac ones and I've, i i think i like these ones a little bit more at the moment i, I still love my mac lipsticks don't get me wrong um, but at the moment i'm reaching a lot more for these and um, i really like them so i just thought i'd share them with you yeah so that's it for my haul video hopefully you like the stuff um 
yeah, I guess. <laughs> I'll see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.